Hi guys, for those who I've spoken to today already, welcome again. Uh, but for those who are new, welcome to class. Um, in this session, we're going to have a look at an article about some uh, investment that's happening with Indian companies. We're going to talk about how easy it is to start a business and if uh, you want to start businesses and how you do it. Okay, so it's going to be this kind of discussion. Amar, you're here. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Cool, cool, cool. How are you? Fine. Any change? Any change? By the way, can I just ask? How about this this fountain? Yeah. So this fountain is very very big. So yeah. Who designed it? Who designed it? Yeah. It's very old, very very old. I think. So I was looking afterwards and I was thinking, what? You know, I just realized what it was. Yeah. So it's. it's yeah, huge. and and we have uh, a house. Uh, not a house. A castle under the water in in Jeddah. What? Show, show, yeah, show. Th this is uh, for uh, King Fahad. Okay, so in the meantime, why everyone's joining <laughs> in? Could you send a link? I'm curious now. Yeah. So after man said that, I was very curious. Okay, so um, those who don't know what we're talking about, in the last session, um, a guy from Saudi Arabia called Man showed us a very impressive picture of a fountain in Saudi Arabia. So that's what I was just talking with Amar about. But Javier, good to speak with you again. Hello, Mark. How are you? I'm good, thank you. And how is it there where you are today? Good. Well, Whoa, today sounds, here is. is uh, I just had. Well, the is not so good. Okay. So. Yes. Now we have a little, a little rain, a small flurries of uh, and with the rain. No problem for you. Yeah, no problem. It's okay to have rain sometimes. Okay, Mario. Okay. Good to speak with you again. Um, I can't hear you just yet. Just check your settings. We'll come back. Okay. Um, just check. Let's see if your microphone's okay. And Sadiq, how are you, Sadiq? I'm good. With you? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. And um, Sadiq, we have spoken before, haven't we? Really yeah. recently. Yeah, uh, about four days ago. Four days ago. Yeah. So I thought yeah. I remembered. And you are from Turkey, right? Yeah. You are a very smart guy. <laughs> okay. I tried to remember, but sometimes I do forget. Um, okay, so, Tom. Tom, are you there? Okay, we'll come back. Rafael is from Spain. Okay, Rafael, how are you doing today? Yeah, I'm doing well. I'm very glad to join your class. Your okay, internet class every day, every day. We need to nominate someone to, you know, make it more lively, yeah, like yesterday. <laughs> yeah. So, so this is your job, Rafael, today. That's your job. We're delegating that to you. Cool. Okay, so Raphael, how is it there today? Someone said it's rainy. Yeah. So is it a bit rainy today? Mm, I am Madrid, and uh, the day is, is sunny here. Um, at, at the beginning of the morning, it was a little raining, but now it's a sunny day, splendorous, very nice, and wonderful to join. To enjoy. And, and what about in the photo? I've always wondered in the profile picture. Where did you take this? Yeah, uh, it was in my summer holidays in Iceland. This is an iceberg, and uh, and if you can see, the blue ice is the oldest, perhaps uh, the about one thousand years old. Wow. When the when the ice is blue, is because they have an oxygen yeah. hmm, for the weight of the uh, of the ice below up of them. And it's yeah. turning in blue, and oh, it's without, it without, it's uh, it's older than all the, is the oldest. The so blue Iceland one. has had this. Uh, I guess it's never been melted in Iceland, yeah, for a thousand years or so, yeah. So it's yeah. been, guess that's cool. Um, so I, I think that's quite interesting, Raphael. Yeah. You're Spanish. You come from a hot country, but on your summer holiday you go to a cold country. Is yeah, this yeah, normal? Yeah. <laughs> I think I think everyone won't change. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's why we go to Spain. We go from cold country to a warm country, and the Spanish go to a cold, even colder country. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we have uh, who else? Tom, Tom, Tom. Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. 
Cool, nice to speak with you. Have we spoken before, or is it the first time we've spoken? Uh, I have been, I have been in worrying class, but this is the first time for in your class. No worries. Cool. Okay, nice to meet you. And where are you from, Tom? I'm from China. Cool. Great. Cool. Which part? China is very, very big country. Uh, which Middle. part? Middle, Middle. Yeah. So direct in the center. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. Anyone else who I've missed? Inga is back. Gate crashing. Our verbling party. Inga. <laughs> okay. Hi, Martin. <laughs> good to Sorry. speak with you again. How are you? Yes. I'm good. What about you? Not too bad as well. We spoke this morning, I think, yeah? Mm, yes, but I was in chat box, <laughs> not in okay, the class. Yeah. Mm. Okay, but we still interacted in some way. That's cool. Igor. Hi. I'm not even going to ask. Just do it, okay? Igor, go for it. Sorry? I'm not going to ask this time. Go for it as normal. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? My name's Igor, and I come from Moldova. <laughs> ah, you said for me, thank you. Okay, okay, ah, oh, Igor, you're spoiling the fun, yeah? You're spoiling. Okay, so, Hamid, can you hear us? Hamid. Okay, we'll come back to you. Just check your mic settings, and we'll come back. Okay, so today we're going to have a look at an article about. Um, businesses in India and about starting businesses and things, okay? So I'll um, send it in the, the chat box. We're going to compare what it's like in our countries. Um, yeah, if people want to do this or if it's easy or difficult or something. Um, so I'll share my screen with you and we will have a look at this together and discuss. Okay, so um, first question, Amma. Would you yes. ever want to run a business? <coughs> Hello. Um, yeah, I guess I want to run a business. I would like to run a business, but I don't know how to run a business. <laughs> okay, so you'd like to, but you don't know how to. Yeah, okay, but um, I am. I I I learn. Uh, I'm f fast le le learner. Fast yeah, so that's okay. Yeah, so you would develop it. Yeah, so it's something you can develop into things. And um, we heard from Hamid then. I, I think we heard a hello. And does it work now? Yes, I was. Hi. And nice, nice to meet you, Hamid. I too, teacher. And where are you from? I'm from Iran. Iran, great, cool. Okay, so um, did you understand the question? Yeah. So I asked Amr the question. Um, would you like to start a business in the future? So Hamid, how is it with you? So would you like, like to start a business? I like to, but uh, like Amar, I don't know how can I run a business. Okay. So why would you like to run a business? Yeah. So what's the difference between having your own I business and working for someone? I, I think it's better. Anyone cannot uh, uh, um, cannot uh, um, uh, how can I say cannot control me and. Uh, uh, say to me, don't, don't, don't do that, and do that. Okay, so I, you can say I am my own boss. Yeah, you can. Say yes. That. Um, yes. So when you have your business, and you're your own boss. You've got no one looking over your shoulder, going, do that, do that, do that. Yeah, you decide. Yeah, yeah. And in our country, it's better to have uh, your own business because the government's works uh, are not. Uh, Careful, for example, enough money, enough uh, uh, other. Uh, uh, how can I say that? Enough interesting things in other jobs. Okay, so it's not worth it having the business. Uh, no, not not worth it working for the government. Yeah, so it's better it's to not have enough. Not, not enough. enough. So uh, many people in your country, in Iran, what we yeah. call entrepreneurs. Yeah, do you know what this word means? Entrepreneur. In exactly no. Uh, not exactly. Say not exactly. Yeah, not exactly because uh, more people are uh, mm, mm, rich and uh, work on in their own businesses. Okay, so um, they work for businesses. Yeah. So. Yes. Uh, does everyone know what an entrepreneur is? Yeah. So let's get Javier. Could you define what an entrepreneur is? Um, Excuse me. 
But just um, I'll go back to you, Hamid. I'll just ask uh, someone else um, what this this word means, just to test. Um, Javier, do you know do you know this word, entrepreneur? Uh, yeah, well, yes, I think that is uh, um, um, well, a businessman. He's uh, the man who creates uh, an enterprise. So yeah, so someone who creates a business doesn't have to be educated, whatever. Just built up a business from scratch. Maybe had no money, didn't inherit the business from the dead father, anything like that. Uh -huh. Just started the biz business from zero and yes. built the business up. Yes, that's an entrepreneur. Uh -huh. So, okay. Hamid, yes, yeah? so you're saying not so many people are entrepreneurs in your country, did you say? Or yeah, the opposite? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. that's, that's, that's quite cool. Igor, what do you say in Moldova? So, um, do many people want to have a business? And would you like to have a business in the future, or if you already have one? I'm not sure. Um, at the moment, I would wouldn't like to have a business. Uh, so uh, maybe in future, yes, I would like to have a, a business. But uh, at the moment, I do not see something uh, that uh, I would like to do. What business to run? So I do not see perspectives for for me in this domain. Okay, yeah. so for you it's not it's not the, the priority you can say, yes. Yeah? So it's at not the moment, actual at the moment. Okay, yeah, so you don't see any opportunities, anything that you think actually that would be quite cool. Yes. Okay, um, so Inga, what would you say? So would you be interested? Mm, actually, uh, I'm not uh, interested uh, in business. Um, I mean, in the sphere we, uh, where you are working only for money, for example, I would like to have uh, something like um, a school or college, yes, where um, people uh, can uh, came and educate. I mean, people who are not able to go to uh, classes and maybe it will be uh, evening classes or something like that but it's not um, it's not business so it could uh, be a not for profit um yes or yes yes non profit or organization yes, yes you so are right. non profit mm -hmm. not for profit or um some kind of charity yeah so uh, yes but courses Inga, you you need to pay for the bmw look at that yes you've got a BMW. <laughs> you need to how do you pay for this if you don't get money uh, I will get money from another field. Another source. That's top secret, yeah? Top secret. Okay. <laughs> yes. Um, but what do you say most people in your country? So you, you're living in Armenia at the moment. Yes. Compare yes. It, the situation in Armenia and Russia. What are people's mm. attitudes to this? Uh, here, as I told, uh, some classes, uh, uh, one uh, of your classes, that um, people are very interested in business and um, uh, do you remember you asked the question what's prestigious job? Uh, yeah, 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 and you said yes, and this yes, and I said that businessman is very <laughs> popular. Okay, so, yes, so it is, more, more, most people want, but when I say um, things, do most people who want to have a business start, want to start practically, do they talk seriously or is it, oh, it would be really good to have a business? Yeah, so you said it's seen as prestigious, but do mm -hmm. most people um, dream about it, or would you say lots of people do it? Yes, because uh, it's very hard to start um, the business from the zero, yes, and uh, yes, and um, you have to take a loan from bank to be able to start something and uh, here uh, I told you that all businessmen is under the pressure of government so uh, you have to um, have some um, um, some huge um, um, on your backstage to be able to start uh, your own business here. So you have to have a lot of cash, yeah? You have uh -huh. Mm -hmm. So basically it limits, you can't start it from scratch so to say, you can't effectively go out with zero dollars and start the business, you're saying you need to have a lot, lot of money um, on yes. the account, okay that's, that's interesting. Javier, what do you say, so how is it in, in your country, you're in Spain right? Yes, the, uh, I'm from Spain, uh, well now it's a um, hard, difficult moment to to create any um, enterprise due to the crisis, uh, finance, financial crisis and well I think I, I would like to maybe to open um, a business but I think that um, I, I would like to 
but um, I, I, I mean, it's you don't have experience, and uh, apart from financial um, amount of uh, money, you need also experience or something, someone who can help you. And I think that today is um, really, really difficult. Uh, you, you have to do by yourself all, all the. Um, all the business so I think that in the maybe this this is a problem that in the future we will have to 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 arrange in many countries because as you say before it's like um, too much right risk and yeah. it should yeah I think that it should be more not so difficult so the you have to be a like a help kind of help or a mattress from the state if you don't have a, if your business don't run very good you um, a kind of help. So, well, so it says the only... government should do more to help business people. Yes, yes, more, more, and and maybe and don't don't let also to be a very big business. So you will be very very rich to be millionaires. Just to be a um, medium yep. uh, medium business. So maybe you can have a kind of help, and then you have to to make also if you have um, profits, you have to. To, to help to other ones, so maybe it's a uh, not so big companies. Yeah. So um, it doesn't have to be small. But if everyone yet who wanted to run a business has a business idea, was help with that, you know, that would reduce unemployment, and things like that. You know, getting people yeah. to do something. Yeah. yeah? yeah. So um, that also makes the country richer, I guess. Yeah. So yeah. it is. It maybe it's it's important. Mario, what do you say? Yeah. So how is it? Hi, Martin. Uh, yes, hi, everyone. Uh, sorry if a uh, short while ago oh, yeah, I went, that's, uh, uh, yeah, there was technical problems at the beginning. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't speak to you then. I don't want to jump in straight at you and go, oh, cool. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, okay. Would you like to quickly introduce yourself? We've spoken before, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you so, so my Windows was uh, loaded uh, when you were talking to me, so I didn't have the sound. So This is Mario uh, so from... France. So France. I'm living in France. So I'm originally from uh, French Guyane, but I'm living in, near Paris today. Cool. And uh, in my country, uh, uh, it's not worth for myself. You know, it's not worth to to develop any business because uh, uh, unfortunately, France is the championship of taxes. So I think it's yeah, better to to go to. Yes, I think it's better to go to another country where the f uh, fees is uh, very less uh, expensive to develop up, uh, up any project. In France, for example, a uh, government uh, tax is twice the employer. For example, if someone have to be paid two thousand a month, for example, the employer have to pay four. No. Yeah. Oh. It's oh, like that's that. too much. It's yeah, like that's that. too much, and you, uh, f for just uh, a simple employee, you uh, you have to pay about uh, fifteen percent of taxes. So the, uh, most of it is is tax. The thing yeah. is, though, you could they could take much le less money in tax. They don't maybe need to take that much. And then if the people have more money, maybe they spend more money in the economy, yeah? So maybe there's other ways of doing it rather than just taking... I don't know, yeah? So in the UK, the tax are also high, yeah? I don't know um, if we've got someone from Germany, but yeah, I think the UK, France, and Germany are very, very high taxes. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's, of course it's annoying to pay them. So, yeah, <laughs> so, so the, the problem is uh, when you have a lot of money, so you uh, naturally, you don't stay in France, so you just have to go out uh, like... Uh, 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 does uh, any footballer, uh, tennis man, all the the uh, like the film guy? Uh, who is he? He's a film, an actor or something. He went to Russia. There yeah, a, yeah, uh, Gerard Depardieu. Yes, yeah, yes, okay. because uh, uh, the, the our last actual president want to uh, tax uh, uh, seventy five percent for people who. Uh, learn more than one million a year, so it's uh, okay. One million is a lot of money, but I, I don't think you can take all the money that you uh, you yeah. work to to have, and uh, it's very difficult to stay. It's just um yeah, just psychological as well. If the government say we're taking seventy five percent of what you earn, 
Yeah. You feel cheated, yeah? You feel, well, okay, I've built up this business. Yes, go. Uh, let, let's go to 100%. <laughs> yeah, why not? You know, just take, take it all, why not? Take it all. I don't, I don't mind, yeah. you know? <laughs> okay, so, uh, Raphael, what do you say? Yeah, so, and so you're saying, uh, to summarize, Mario, you have no incentive to start your own business. You were saying, in France, would you say it's generally so? In France, it's better to work for a company than to start a business. Yeah. Uh, in Spain is very similar because the entrepreneur, um, the government says that it's very easy to make a start up uh, company, but in in reality it it is not uh, easy. There are a lot of problems for do it. There are uh, there aren't any loan from the banks, and it's difficult to take the money from the banks because they are um, running out of the money right now. Um, the reality is not easy to 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 be a or to be or to make a startup company, but I think uh, when when the crisis uh, is coming, uh, also you can change your mind and um, to look for for another opportunities. You, uh, as you know, uh, crisis in Chinese is the same word than opportunity. All the <laughs> help crisis. Did you say crisis? crisis. Crisis in Chinese language is wow. the same is the same icon than opportunity is the same. Uh, and what, uh, uh, for this reason, the meaning of crisis is similar to one opportunity. And here we are changing our mind. We we have to change and to think that we have to improve our mind, our thoughts, to look for some new ideas cheaper without money. Um, uh, for example, bubbling. Bubbling is a new idea, uh, and it it could be a very good idea for every people and also for money. Um, and I mean, the system for bubbling works very good for both sides, yeah. Because you can attend classes for free. I still get paid, you know. So it's it's still it's for both sides. It's a very good system. So you're saying ideas like bubbling will de uh, will develop, and if, for example, there's no crisis, these good ideas won't create and we would just have to do the traditional ways yeah? and the, so you're saying actually crisis can spark innovation yeah yeah I uh, I don't agree with you uh, and you summarize very in a better way than me my opinion and uh, we are uh, I, I want to say to everybody who is listening in the class please we can join together and new uh, make a new idea from Berlin. <laughs> we can <laughs> in French or in Turkey or in Moldavia. <laughs> we can we can improve and make a start up company <laughs> in, like Berlin. So Raphael's got got passion, but I think just yeah, I think Berlin is pretty there. Yeah, so I don't think I'd like to compete. <laughs> yeah, so you need the very like much money to start this T ten thousand a month minimum. I calculated. You yeah. calculate already, Igor. Wow, wow, wow. Yes. You should it's join true. the company. Igor, it's true? $10,000 in a month you need to start a project like Verblink, minimum. Yeah. Oh. Igor, you should work for them, yeah, yes? I, I think, think so. they're recruiting yeah. some technical guys um, at the moment in San Francisco, yeah? So, I don't know, yeah? So, I would say that the big guys join them, yeah? Don't fight against them. But, Sidic, <laughs> what would you I'm say? I'm like an economist. I'm not a technical support. <laughs> no worries. Okay, Sidic, what do you say? Yeah, so what is it like yeah. in your country? Um, I am doing my arm jump now, Martin. Uh, it's very difficult uh, to everybody in the Turkey, uh, like the others, uh, other uh, country. Uh, so uh, it's hard. But uh, if you want so much to, to your arm jump, you can do. Uh, we paid the uh, we pay. Uh, lots of tax in the Turkey also, uh, like France or Spain, you know. Uh, but uh, I am very brave man, uh, and I am. Uh, sorry, uh, I am. I am designer. Uh, I am mechanical engineer, so I designed the machine. Uh, I start the zero from the zero. Uh, if I uh, give the uh, points or degree to myself. Uh, I can give now four, but uh, I will be uh, sorry. It will be good for me uh, to next time. Uh, if I degree uh, to my next time, 
uh, I believe that I believe in that uh, I will get uh, 10 points from me because if you uh, work on the, your job you uh, you can learn lots of things and mm. uh, you can uh, structure your company uh, from the zero uh, to top high uh, yeah okay so you're saying that basically um you can even so even if you work for a company there's still you can grow you can get the experience of the company you're saying yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Okay. Exactly. So it, it doesn't have to be like, okay, running a business is great, working for companies, yeah, there's lots of grey areas there, there's lots of um, room for, okay, but anyway, Tom is Chinese, okay, so explain this, the opportunity and crisis um, thing that Rafa was saying, is it so, yeah, so when you see, how, what's your mentality, yeah, would you say that you panic when you hear about crises, uh, Tom? No, no, because... Uh, as, as somebody has referred, uh, the crisis in Chinese is also get a different meaning, another meaning of opportunity. So it, it's just two words, but but it's a so it's a very I mean I could say it's dialect or it's a, a dialect, a dialect. It's. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a little bit of philosophy, I think. Okay, so it's a philosophy. Could you explain to us um, about this philosophy, a bit about this philosophy? So, for example, um, if you go through a difficult situation in your life, what's your first reaction? So, for, for example, if a Chinese person lost their job, what would be the first thing they think of? On Generally, generally, uh, generally. Uh, first, he will... Uh, g generally, he will at uh, first uh, so check check if, if anything is is I mean so check the reason why he lost his job. So it, 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 is it because that he is not not capable of doing that, or is it just a uh, I mean some some uh, depression or some some the macroeconomic thing? So he will divide. Divide is into two parts. If if is self reason, he will he will he will divide him himself. If it's the uh, I mean outside reason, maybe he will just go for another job or something. Okay. Yes. So um, they wouldn't think, oh damn, you know, I've lost a job quickly on the job websites. Is there anything else? They wouldn't have this kind of panic. You're saying Chinese people are quite calm, and if they lose the job. They wouldn't react, they would just think, okay, it's something made me lose the job, find out the problem and then deal with it, yeah, and that's it, yeah, so it's quite quite interesting. How does this compare with your mentalities, okay, so Abdul has joined us, yeah, um, how, how are you Abdul today? I'm good sir, how are you? I'm good, did you wake up well? <laughs> and hello to everyone in the class. You are what, sorry? I said hello to everyone in the class. Of course, I said uh, hello. Um, and Abdul, did you hear what we were talking about? And um, did you follow? A uh, little bit, like 40-50 percent. <laughs> okay, no worries. Okay, so in that case, um, we are just asking because Raphael told us that the character, Chinese character for P, uh, for crisis is the same character for as opportunity or something. Um, Tom said it's about dialect or, or something. Um, so I asked Tom the question, how Chinese people react to a crisis, for example, losing your job. Yeah, so Abdul, I'm curious to compare cultures and things. What would your first reaction be if you lost a job? Uh, my first reaction, if, if I uh, lose my job, I mean, will be to start looking for another job. I mean, would it's, you panic? Would you panic? Uh, not really. Not so much. I mean, yes, so. I mean, if I if if I lost my job, so I mean, there is nothing I can do about it. Okay, that's interesting. But would yeah, anyone the, would anyone panic? Yes. Yeah? So anyone here would think, oh, what do I do? What do I do? Yes. Yeah? So Mario, how would your first reaction be? Would you stay calm and collected like Tom and Abdul? 
or would it be something else? Uh, I think in that situation you have to think about uh, the way to find an, another job. But I, I think it depends also uh, about uh, your situation. For example, if you are a young person, so you have uh, uh, you could have uh, more opportunity to find another job. But some people uh, older, I mean uh, about fifty and things like this, they could panic because uh, the politics now uh, in uh, I think it's most of the country is not to take uh, veteran people, it's uh, much uh, younger people and uh, uh, someone about 50s is gonna be a sort of uh, uh, throw away uh, things like this. Uh, this is the mentality, unfortunately. So you're saying it depends on the age, yeah? But you wouldn't panic so much, yeah? So you wouldn't you'd just be quite calm, collected. Is there anyone who would would panic? Yeah. So is there anyone here that would absolutely, you know, um, not be calm, collected? I'm just trying to compare mentalities, yeah. So um, yeah. if it was something, in, and yeah. can you add something to this, sir? Yes, please. Yes, can please. I add something more? Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, I think you know, uh, like it depends on your situation. Like, let's say if you have uh, too much responsibilities, like your families, your kids, and I mean, in that kind of situation, maybe you will panic. But like, let's say, I mean, if you are just a single person living by yourself, and I mean, your situation is not too bad, so I mean, like I said, you will say, uh, I will, you know, start looking for another job. But like, let's say if your uh, financial situation is not stable and you lost your job and you have family and kids, so I mean, I think in that situation, it's natural that you will panic. So it's not yeah. about um, where you come from. It's not about mentality and stuff. It's basically about your own situation, yeah. So um, yeah. how to pay the bills, if you can, can or not. Okay, yeah. so um. Yeah, that's that's quite interesting. Okay, but we're going to read the article now. I'm going to share my screen with you, and uh, we're going to have a look at this because it was something in. Well, they're talking about business angels. Yeah, I don't know if anyone knows um, this term. So, what's a business angel? A business no. angel. Investor. Investor. Yep. Yeah, so basically, someone who invests in a startup business. Yeah. So. Uh, for example, yeah, Verbling would have attracted investment from business angels. Yeah, that's, that's um, if you don't have money to start up a company, you go to investors and you would say, oh, here's my idea. I'm going to, I don't know, sell, um, I don't know, I'm going to open some shop. Yeah, and then if it's good, then the angels who are experienced business people will invest money and this gives you the, ne the needed money you need to start your business. Yeah, so um, Abdul. And, uh, after a business will grow and will be successful, that investors will have a part of your business. Yep, unless you buy it out or something, you can you can negotiate this is that. The most important because after business will come successful, they will have a part. They they negotiate with you. Yeah, and, so you know, and at the at the start. So it's a win-win, yeah. So, for example, my attitude is better to have fifty percent of a lot than a hundred percent of a little, yeah. So, um, yeah, okay, they profit from this as well. So they, they of course get lots of money from this, but equally they help you to get that big business, yeah. So, Abdul, okay, if you were to start a business, first question: Would you use the? Would you use business angels? Sorry, uh, one more time, please. If you were to start up a business. Would uh -huh. you want the influence of business angels? Would you want investment from a business angel? Uh, I mean, let's say if I have ideas, so I mean, my current like uh, financial situation is like definitely I will go to the business angels, you know, like I don't have uh, money to invest, you know, in that idea. So, I mean, uh, I, I mean, let's let's you know, like take this example of the warbling.com, you know. Like both these uh, guys were, you know, studying right here in uh, Stanford University, you know, of California. Yeah. And they drop out, and you know, they they came with the new idea, and I think they uh, they generate about uh, one million dollar from the business engine and plus some other sources, and they, I mean, started this website. 
So, I mean, this is the same story like, you know, in this article. So, I mean, it's already happened here in San Francisco. So, yeah, so business, lots of companies need, because if you have an idea, but you don't have money, you could, it's better not to waste the idea, I guess. If you, if exactly, you, exactly. Good. Yeah, so it's great, yeah, so you can use Verbling as an example, but are there any other examples that you know of, fa famous examples, Abdul, that maybe the business has started with people, maybe um, young people with not so much money, but could grow because they had the help of business angels? Uh, at the moment, I really don't. I really don't remember. I don't know what about. I don't know about face. I don't know if, if Facebook or probably technical companies. Yeah, I'm not, not sure. Does anyone else? Dropbox. Have uh, dot com. Dropbox. Okay. Dot com. Tell us about this. I do not know nothing. I know that they uh, start up like uh, Verbling, with business uh, angels. They invested in this uh, startup, and uh, now they are. I don't know. Maybe successful. Yeah. So they you know the money to Dropbox. Start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, if it's like a, a cloud, yes? Yeah, so. Storage, yes. You can store your files, like Microsoft, uh, Hotmail, like uh, on our clouds. And things, yeah. So, Dropbox is a good example. Um, yes. In your countries, uh, Siddiq, yeah, have you heard of a really successful business person that maybe got successful without money at the beginning, yeah? So, started a business from scratch, maybe used business angels? Um, I haven't heard, but... Uh, if you uh, if you are in a computer area like uh, 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 doing uh, some Facebook um, like a Facebook city uh, or something, uh, you can be uh, successful. Successful, uh, Martin. Uh, we have uh, some kind of uh, city uh, in the Turkey. Uh, they starts from zero uh, and they are they are uh, now very big company yeah so would you say for example is it possible to get a really really big company right so you have I don't know five dollars yeah so it you yeah. say if you have five dollars what's the easiest way in Turkey to turn that five dollars into something a lot more not more. Uh, uh, I, I want to give you an example, okay, for instance. Uh, I am doing my own job, I, as I said. Uh, I've manufa uh, I manufactured uh, uh, some machines. I am doing uh, all the parts uh, I manufacture and uh, I... Uh, how can I say? I am collecting all the parts and uh, I... Uh, assembly all of them uh, and I sell it if I uh, manufacture uh, big uh, uh, how can I say uh, I, uh, I will look sorry Han uh, Martin uh, okay. if I manufacture the all the machines uh, big uh, big size you know uh, you can earn lots of money if you use the money uh, investment with some company or something job, another job. You can uh, make lots of money if you bring the, all the money together. You can invest the, uh, some. Money, yes. You got it. Build slowly. Yes. So you're saying you would um, build something small, spend the five dollars on something, then with that the money you make from that, build it and then build it up. Yes. Yeah? So that's what you yeah. say. Um, yeah. Does anyone who I haven't asked so far have an opinion on what we've discussed so far before I ask the next question? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Martin. Raphael or oh, Inga, yeah, do you have uh, Sorry, to... can I interrupt you? Yes. Uh, just uh, some days ago I read uh, an article about um, then a um, teacher um, uh, from one school, or do not remember it was school or. Um, or university take uh, f um, five dollars uh, to um, mm -hmm. to pupils and um, say that uh, you have to uh, start your business with uh, that five dollars. It happened uh, in my school as well, yes. So. Um, yeah. <laughs> and how did it work with these people? Okay, and I want to say that uh, some of um, that uh, guys uh, thought they're uh, very 
creative and um, I want to bring two examples of how they start it. Uh, so one of them is um, reserved at reserved places in the restaurant and then visitors came and want uh, to have a dinner there and they uh, ask them oh if you want to come in uh, without any um, problem well, I can uh, I can um, take you, um, I can give you my um, table, yes, a reserved table, and uh, they, ta uh, they take back $20 uh, for wow, one yeah. table. That's yes. a good business, yes. That's uh -huh. And uh, um, second, um, second student, um, he, um, uh, so uh, teachers said that they have to represent uh, what they did on the other lesson um, for three minutes and um, that uh, student uh, sold that three minutes of uh, uh, his presentation to one company which is interested um, to um, uh, to um, uh, to tell about uh, that company and uh, to the students uh, at school. So um, that company paid to that student um, 650, um, uh, 650 Yes, dollars. Wow, okay, yeah, so this is a good example. I'm going to ask yeah. you about this um, in a minute. If you had a small amount of money, what you'd do um, to make money in your countries. But before I do that, has anyone else got an opinion? So, Raphael, what do you say? Yeah, so. Um, uh, when, I was, when I was listening, I remember last week I saw a TV show in the Britain TV that is very similar. Uh, people, young people with uh, new ideas about business, present her, his ideas to three and uh, th three three people, three managers of the companies that they are exa making examination about the idea that they present, mm -hmm. and if they invest money if the idea is good. And if they consider that the idea is not good, they don't invest the money. I I, um, I don't know the name of the show. So it sounds it's like something like uh, Junior Dragons, Junior Dragons, then something like that. But yeah, I'd say we have a lot of this kind of thing in the UK. Like for example, at my school, we had uh, business classes, and we also had um, additional classes in how to de develop as an entrepreneur. Yeah, so things like you'd have a challenge. Yeah. Um, you'd we'd have to set up an official company. So we so for example, me and my friends had a company. Yeah. We had a little bit of money to start off, maybe ten pounds, and the it was a competition to see who can make the most money out of this this money at the end of the year. But it was a, a properly um, an official business. We had to pay tax. We had to incorporate ourselves. We had to so um, call each other directors. And for one year, it was an official company. Um, but it didn't, of course, it didn't work well, yeah, because we were at school and things like that. But it was a very interesting experience, yeah. So. Um, to give you to give you that kind of experience, and it's like competitiveness, yeah. So the winner would re win a prize and things, and any money you made you could keep, yeah. So there was kind of like an incentive, yeah. So to work with your friends to make to make some money and just develop some some idea. We developed just some kind of school shop, yeah. So we're selling we're selling products we bought um, for one price we we doubled the price. And then we had some kind of school cinema and things like that, and it was quite an interesting experience, yeah. So a learning experience and stuff. But um, Mario, what do you say in France? Yeah, do you think um, lots of people are inspired to have a business? Yeah, as in, for example, I from that I was very inspired. It was very, quite inspiring, and in the future maybe I'd want to. Yeah, do you think lots of people are inspired to do this kind of thing, or would you say it's more? Um, yeah, so to study hard and get the job. Uh, I think uh, the first uh, uh, the, the first thing in people is to study hard to get a job and then if you are more ambition you can maybe uh, become an entrepreneur or something like this but I think that the first um, the, the, the first thing is to, to have a good uh, to study a lot to uh, Better you you could sell yourself you yourself better. 
Okay, I think this is the first thing. Okay, and then maybe you could uh, uh, you could think about uh, uh, if, uh, for example, uh, me uh, for myself now I'm uh, I'm a technical uh, um, uh, I'm a, t a manager manager technical manager. So I know very well my, my 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 job. So I have kind of experience. So I now I can uh, think about the fact maybe I could uh, try to to make a business by my own with the experience. Yeah? So yes. Yes, with the experience. experience got the education you got, mm. and Pardon. yeah, make development decisions. Yeah. Pardon, Zidik? Yeah, uh, I have an idea. Uh, uh, it's special for me, but I want to share with you. Okay. Uh, maybe uh, somebody wants to uh, do this this job in their uh, own uh, countries. Uh, do you know uh, you want to do some flower, and uh, maybe you can give the uh, some girls. And okay. you can buy uh, some seed uh, from there, and you can send uh, her. You know it. Okay. Yeah. So you like can... a ver like a verbling, yeah, like, like a verbling. Uh, you will choose the, uh, on the seed, and you can uh, send them. You okay, that's it? interesting. Yeah. So like a like a thing. And how would you go about starting something like this? Yeah. Take this example. The article is about business angels. Yeah. So let's link it. We'll have a look at some words from it in a minute. But if you wanted to go about starting this, what would you do in Turkey? So, um, would you could you just start with some some money and then build it up yourself, or would you want to have some kind of business angels or something like that? Yeah. So as was said in the the article. Yeah, uh, I can uh, use the uh, business angel. We call it in the Turkey uh, like a dragons. Uh, yeah. Their name. Uh, I I want to uh, set up the uh, some kind of city like uh, uh, transportation. Transportation. Sorry. Uh, if you want to pick up your, uh, um, how can I say? I forgot. Sorry. I will look at. It. Oh, okay, uh, your goods or your property uh, to uh, the different area. Uh, yeah. If you move on to some different area, uh, and uh, you will choose the uh, your uh, 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 country to another country or city uh, uh, or another city, uh, and uh, I will. Uh, Fine. Uh, maybe I I want to give you instance. Uh, are you living in uh, London? Oh uh, yeah. I, no. I, at the moment I'm living in Germany, but I'm from the UK. Yeah. So um, okay. I'm from near London. I will uh, I will give you instance only. Uh, if you are living in London, uh, you wanna you will uh, move on to uh, Manchester city, yeah. uh, and you will choose the uh, London to Manchester, like uh, uh, taking. Uh, uh, Sorry, uh, taking ticket, ticket like a taking ticket. Ticket. Uh, you can. Uh, you will choose the London to uh, Manchester City, and uh, we will connect to uh, some company in the there for the transportation. Uh, then uh, they will give, uh, they will uh, come the, over there uh, to your apartment, and they will uh, pick up your uh, um, all the staff uh, or uh, property, uh, and they will bring to the another city uh, where you want to uh, live in. Uh, you got it? Okay. Uh, yeah, and I, I so. will take the uh, some of uh, maybe uh, 15 percent of the. Uh, 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 money. So I that's called commission, yeah? Do you know commission? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take the commission. That's how you get it. Okay, so guys, if this, um, yeah, so Abdul, what would you say, yeah? So 
in America, is it easy to start up a business? You have, in, I guess, where you in California, it is. Although you were saying the other day that the economics are not so good at the moment. Um, if you wanted to start a business, Abdul, what would you do? Yeah. So, how would you go about that in in California? Look, like here in California, I mean, if you have ideas, so I mean, money is not the problem. I mean, if you don't have any money. And if your credit score is good, just go to the bank and they will give you the loan, you know, like anything if you want to start. So, I mean, the thing is, like, you should have the idea, you know, to do something. If if you have the idea, so, I mean, and you have money, well and good. If you don't have any money, so, I mean, it's very easy to get the loan from banks, you know. Okay, so you're saying if you, you can get the finance from the banks quite quite easily, and this was also a problem in the UK and I guess America as well in the, the crisis because banks were lending a lot of money, yeah. So uh, people were buying lots of property to rent out, and banks were just saying, "Okay, you've got a jo good job, you can have the money," and exactly. that's what caused the crisis. So, do you think Abdul, it's uh, could be dangerous to have this attitude? Um, okay, oh, just start a business, just start a business, take the risk. Do you think we should all be a bit more? cautious or actually do you think it's a good thing um, I think uh, it's like 50-50 uh, you know like you have to take risk too but I mean you should be cautious too you know like I mean you should I mean properly you know think about your idea you know that you know like how much chances you know I have to uh, to succeed in this idea, you know, and how much, you know, like risk I have that, you know, I would lost all the money and, you know, nothing going to happen. So, I mean, you should, you know, take risk, but, you know, like uh, before taking risk, you know, you should study your idea, you know, that how much how much are, are my chances, you know, to... So calculate, so this is called a yeah. calculated risk. So, I mean, you have to take very calculated risk, otherwise, I mean, if, uh, other, I mean, you say, oh, well, I mean, if there is no risk, no fun, no life, so, I mean... Yeah, that's the thing, like yeah, that. so calculated risk, but don't be too calculated, otherwise you'll be the accountant in the company. Exactly. Yeah? Not, the, not the creator of the company. Um, it'll be interesting to hear... Um, Actually, verbally, the, the guys speaking about this, yeah? So I don't know if there could be some kind of interview with them because they did clearly take a big risk, yeah? And, and it'd be interesting to hear how they started it. Uh, we've also yeah, got they, Atia. They, yeah, sorry, they, sorry, they, yes, teacher. They were really brilliant students at the Stanford University of California, and all of a sudden they, you know, dropped out. And, you know, like uh, they present their idea to the uh, angels, you know, and they generate. How do you know, yeah. how do you know Abdul, like, that they drop out uh, university? Oh, it's in my hometown, so I know, you know, both these guys. Okay, yeah, so it's, okay. It's close to you and stuff. Okay, I so would yeah, like to say something about, if possible, I would like to say uh, if uh, something about it. Um, I read uh, once that also in the many uh, business school at the, U the USA, if they want, if you start some kind of enterprise, and they even if they are, are a failure, uh, they don't have um, success. They don't mind because they, for them the important thing is that you you are able to start up a again and to create a new uh, company. So this is the way how to to know how the companies function. And even for the investors, I think that the angels also they have a risk because they pro probably um, put amount of money for a small startups. And they will be uh, one amount will be okay, another one will be a failure. So they ha ha they have to know uh, how to invest. Uh, may maybe even this uh, website like this, I suppose that uh, it's not a, it's a process. It's not a, it's very difficult to 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 start uh, to make a good uh, shot at the first time. You know. Yeah. And the thing is, adapt, yeah? So, for example, if, if we didn't make failures, you know, we'll become very complacent. And maybe the next time we think, okay, right, I've built up this ex successful business, let's start another one, invest a lot of money, and then lose it because you're not used to failing. You haven't got that experience. So, maybe, yeah, again, it's about being afraid to make mistakes and if, if you can take the risk and stuff. But, Igor, what would you say? Any last comment on what we've talked about? No last comment. No, it's okay, yeah? So, um, Inga, any last comments? No. 
<laughs> Anyone else? So, uh, Atia, we haven't introduced you yet. So, Atia, where are you from? I'm from Egypt. Perfect. Nice I'm to meet you. Nice to meet you. Cool. And what do you think? Yeah. So, uh, I've been to Egypt once, and for what I saw, they're very entrepreneurial. Yeah. So, uh, very good at having businesses and things like that. Very good at negotiating. Would you like to have a business? If you, oh, I'm assuming, if you don't have one already, would you like to have a business? Why or why not? Uh, well, I, I want to have a business because I, I don't like to work as any boss. I want to become a boss and uh, I manage my work because uh, I want to. I, I have a success. I have a success story at my life, so I prefer to have a business, and I prefer to have a product. I prefer to compete. Uh, to have a competitor and competition a company. Okay. So, so I, I prefer to have a business. Do you think all business? Okay, so we're saying about the motives, yeah. So um, someone at the beginning said, um, yeah. What are the motives of these people, yeah? So Raphael, what kind of person do you need to be to be successful? Do you have to be um, someone who is completely got perfect track record, completely perfect, completely flawless, or what kind of character do you think you have to be, or do you think it's not a one size fits all, Raphael? I think that there are several issues to take in account for be a good entrepreneur. But one is to have a good idea and also be confident in, in the teamwork because if you are working with another you can you can check your idea and how to, how to develop the idea. If you, I think it's more um, it, it's better for you if you have a a good teamwork with yourself and um, also be very creative in these times. In uh, I think there are a lot of a lot of items to take in count. Yes, yeah, so lots of factors. Yes, yeah? not not one size fits all. Uh, basically, yeah, it, I don't know. Be very creative, and that's the difficult thing. Yeah, it's just having that idea and, and stuff. So, any last comments before we go? So, Mario, do you have any last comments? Um, yeah, uh, I think to be a good entrepreneur, you have to be uh, you have to be uh, kind of straight in your mind. I, I think the first thing you must have the good idea. You must uh, try to calculate everything and to see if you have a chance to uh, to pull through this uh, to to succeed, because uh, there's always a risk to, to invest uh, if uh, you own money, if you go to to ask to a bank to, to lend you the money. So you have to think about any uh, kind of uh, specifics. I, I think yeah. you you must try to, to think about anything. Be clear headed, yeah? So that's yeah. the thing. And that's why, for example, it's good to have a combination of people. Yeah, you don't want a lot of group of crazy creatives together yeah. uh, because someone needs to, you know, be sensible. And that's probably yeah. You just need a good mix of people. So maybe I don't know you guys. Yeah, if you speak to lots of people on verbally, maybe you can find an idea and people, good people to work with. I don't know. Maybe it's a good, good platform. I guess. Yeah. But anyway, guys, I'll let you get on to your your stuff, your your ideas, and go into the drawing boards and things. And take care and speak to you later, maybe. If, I, if I've got some more sessions later, it would be good if you could join in. But take care. Good to meet some new faces and some, some old ones. In fact, most of you, I think, are old faces. Okay, in that case, take care, guys, and speak to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.